Hey there, Avid family. I wanted to go ahead and give you a quick introduction on how to complete a virtual college tour. The first thing you need to make sure is that you have two things open on your desktop. You need to have this virtual college tour Google slideshow and the virtual college tours Google document. Both of these can be found in Google Classroom. Okay, let's go ahead and first take a look at the document because this is what you will be typing on. And this is the information that you need to research and find out through your virtual college tour today, okay? Starts out pretty easy. Um, we have the college, university, and name, the city and the state where the school is located, and the distance from Galt. All you need to do is Google it. Then you'll be doing some research to find out three degrees that are related to your interests, and you'll be typing them in these three boxes. Next, you'll go ahead and fill in the campus map by doing the virtual tour. You're going to choose five buildings. You'll provide their name and just describe their departments and activities that are held in each. Next, you'll watch the video and explain three facts that you saw or that you learned. You'll be completing a personal evaluation by listing pros and cons of this college based on your research. These are the pros or the good things that you find about the school and the cons, which are the not so good things that you find about the school. Last, you'll do the final impression. Would you want to attend this college or university based on your research today? Explain why or why not, okay? So let me go ahead and show you how we are gonna go through this. Back here on our Google slideshow, we have our three schools that you have the opportunity to research today. UC Santa Barbara, UC Los Angeles, and UC Davis. Slide number two has our instructions. On the next slide, choose one school to research today. Complete the Google document in Google Classroom by taking the virtual tour across campus, watching the provided video on YouTube, and visiting the university's official website. So to help you out today, I am going to show you UC Merced. I'll start by going to UC Merced, the first link, and this is the virtual tour. It's hosted by this platform called UVisit. You do not need to submit anything, any of your personal information, okay? As you do your tour, you will be guided through. The community consists of Tanaya Hall, Cathedral Hall, and our newest residence hall, Half Dome. In Tanaya and Cathedral Halls, students can choose from a variety of room types, including and make your way through the valley terraces or apartment-style suites with double beds. The tour. You'll find it's a great place for residents to hang out and relax. Here you will find ping pong, foosball, air hockey, and pool tables. There's also a large screen TV, computer lab, and plenty of comfortable seating. Okay, so this place is called The Den, and it's a place for students to hang out. So I'm going to go back to my virtual college tour, and I'm going to start filling in some information that I know. For my campus map, I saw the building's name is called The Den, and how it's used, it's a place for, not a palace, <laughs> a place for students to hang out, okay? I'll go through the rest of the tour and fill in all five buildings names, and I can pick any five that I want, and I'll describe how it's used, okay? That's on the tour. You can also click on the pictures to view a panoramic view of what the buildings look like. Um, around and you can usually drag them around. Okay, 360 view. Okay, that's the tour part. The next part, go back to my slideshow and I want to watch an introductory video for the video part of my research. So I'm going to push play and I'm going to make it large so I can see it. You want to know what makes UC Merced really stand out? Here at UC Merced, we're a tight knit community. A community. Okay, each of the videos are two to three minutes long, so they're all pretty equal. And for the video part, of course, after I watch the video, I'm going to fill in on my document where it says video three things that I learned and saw. So, one thing that I already saw that quickly in that video is UC Merced is located in the country side, okay? And I know that because I saw the cows, right? Finally, I have to do my research on 
some of the details about you, um, UC Merced. So I'm going to fill in the name, UC Merced, city they're located in. So I know that UC Merced is located in Merced, California. I need to find out how far away it is from Galt. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to open Google Maps because that's my preferred mapping system. And I am going to search UC Merced. And directions to choose my starting point. I'm going to put McCaffrey, but you guys can put your guys's address. Okay, so you know how far from your house it is. And I can see that it's 97.5 miles from Galt. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my document and type in 97.5 miles. Okay, now I need degrees offered. So I'm going to go back to the official website, open it up. And the place where you find the official majors and minors that they have, you go to academics, search majors and minors. And you're going to pick three that you think look interesting to you. Since I'm already an adult, I know that the undergraduate minors that I was interested in would be anthropology, history, and political science. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my document and I'm going to type in anthropology. Spelled wrong. History and political science. Okay, now I've done my research. I know where it's located. I know how far away from Galt it is. I know three majors that they offer that are interesting to me. I've done my campus tour, so I know five buildings and how they're used. I've watched the video and I can give three facts that I saw or learned. Now I'm going to give my pros and the cons. This would be a good school for because, and I'm going to type in my answer, this would not be an ideal school for me because I need two sentences each, remember, right here, two sentences each. And then my final impression, this is my summary, um, whether I would want to attend this school or not based off of my um, research that I did today, okay? Once I'm done, I can go ahead and turn it in, and we'll be keeping all of these so that by the end of the year, you'll have a nice little booklet of different colleges that you've researched, okay? All right, I'll be around to help you guys through the rest of this.